Welcome back, Commander. This is my house tells mystery. Oh, Fact, fantasy, and history have come together to tease the imagination. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> All right. Oh, God damn it. Awesome. Hey there, loved ones. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to season one, episode one of uh, Try House Tells. Dot dot, known in some cultures as the colon. <laughs> Mysteries. Oh, <laughs> mystery. I mean, two dots. Two vertical. <laughs> <laughs> Two vertically placed dots. <laughs> <laughs> Try House Tells, Mysteries of History. All right, let's get down to it. Uh, so... What's on the docket? <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about the Great Pyramids of Giza, a.k.a. the Great Pyramids of Khufu. Uh, let's talk about the, uh, the structure of the pyramids. Um. <laughs> Hold on, Kevin was just raising his hand. <laughs> okay, like, Kevin, can I yes. talk? <laughs> I, no, let's not do the hand raise. Okay, uh, so, really well, I, I know it's really early on to already be asking questions, but you said Khufu, and I've never heard of that before. Oh, oh so <laughs> Khufu, Khufu is the fourth uh, dynasty. He was second in his line. And there was an emblem when we first opened the pyramids of Giza that was an emblem of Khufu. So that's why we believe that he was the one that commissioned the pyramid. I feel like Khufu sounds like a... Like an exotic candy bar, you know what I mean? <laughs> like how we're in Scotland, like oh, I'm gonna Mars bar in Scotland, and it's like, oh, dude, try out the coupon bars <laughs> at the Cairo market. <laughs> there's like, uh, there's like sawdust in them. I don't know what is that. <laughs> what is that? How is that relevant? All right. Anyway, um, oh, Khufu, Khufu. Um, Wait, but Matt, now, didn't we see on the docket though that like the the emblem of Khufu inside the when they found it in the pyramids. There was a guy who f first excavated the pyramids for like Britain or something, and like the first day he was in the tomb, he didn't write in his journal about seeing the yeah, emblem. Right, right. And yeah. then when he brought someone in the next day, the emblem was there, and so they think like, oh, maybe he faked it. To yeah, seem like he found some shit, cool shit. Exactly. Yeah. No. Exactly. Well, I mean, the weird thing about that is, how do you like? How do you think that like a you two thousand, like yeah, like a four, a forty <laughs> six hundred year old pyramid? is gonna have a painting on the wall that looks like it was, you know, yesterday. It was made yesterday, you know? Wait, it, di it did look like that? Well, like it was no, like no, freshly... I don't think it did. I don't think, Chris Dunn, who talked to one of the excavators said uh, that his friend said that it looked perfectly fine. It oh, looked, like it, it looked, looked legit. Because when you said like, oh, if it's like a freshly painted thing, I just imagine like, like they're, some they're kindergartner. For it. <laughs> <laughs> like he like brought his son some, inside. Like, stick and he, gave, like, <laughs> he gave him like some finger paint from Michael's and was like, go to town. <laughs> Give it some feathers. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, that's brilliant. So rudimentary. You know what's funny though? Cause like, uh, based on what we're talking about, how like some people seem to think of the pyramids and like they don't want to entertain aliens or advanced technology because it kind of flies in the face of like the copper age they believe the Egyptians were in. Mm -hmm. I feel like some people would be so set on believing the Egyptians were so rudimentary in relation to us that they would just see like a like little painted hands and be like, oh, that must have been them. <laughs> this is the greatest work they're capable of. <laughs> Scotty did that on his first day in the kindergarten with his toes. <laughs> 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 mm. Mm. Yes, all right. Well, uh, let's start off with the uh, the structure of the pyramids. All right, so there are some extremely weird f things that are present in the structure of the pyramids. One, the location of the pyramid is in the exact center of the landmass. Okay. What's up, dude? Okay. What? No, Please no, no, tell no. me. That's the first bullet Wait, point oh, we have. Uh, okay, I, I know, but like, okay, all right. Bear with me. Okay. How do we know it's in the exact center of, like, are you you're saying exact, exact oh, center of Earth? Right? Yes. Wait, wait, oh, wait, so we're, because I was going to say, like, couldn't you just, like, put a point anywhere on Earth and be like, this is the middle. <laughs> it's like, that, everything is equal. But what you're saying is that the, the prime meridian is in relation to land mass, like actual. Exactly, the actual so not land mass. No, and, no. and so, like, the, the point from north to south with the most land mass 
is what we're using as like the middle. And there are two points to that where intersects on either side. One of them is in the middle of the ocean. And believe it or not, the other one is the pyramids. Okay. That means it separates well, we the know Atlantis is on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Woo! it is. And that's what we're going to talk about hopefully next oh, episode. No. Atlantis. Atlantis. Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> yes, join I, us. Okay, <laughs> I'm like way more impressed now. Now that we've okay. clarified that, yes. that it's not just like a random dot. <laughs> no, well, yeah, definitely I was not like, a random dot. Yeah, okay. No, all right, all right. I know. I didn't. I didn't explain. Yeah, I know. Because earlier it's like, oh, what, what's to stop like a homeless man from taking a shit in Mel on Melrose? And I'm like, hey, everybody, <laughs> my shit is in the center of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Equal points all around. <laughs> yes, that's how the spirit works. <laughs> well, another weird thing about the pyramids is that it's aligned to true north with three sixtieth of a degree in error. We cannot do that. We're our, our degree of Wait. error is like six degrees it towers in height coming up to 481 feet which may not sound like a lot but it is considered the tallest man-made structure for over, for over 3800 years each side of the base is 230 meters long each side is slightly concave and this curvature mirrors the exact curvature of the earth right, oh, yeah. okay. okay so the pyramids Whoa. each side is slightly concave mm -hmm. um what do you like on the inside like it's slightly curved in Okay. Wait, wait, wait! But doesn't the Earth curve out? Like no, a little, like a little if, booty. If, if you took like the like if you plastered that and then put it over the Earth. Oh, so it's like like if the pyramids and the Earth were cuddling. Exactly. It would the be like the perfect spoon. perfect spoon. The Earth would be like the perfect big spoon. And be like, you look different. <laughs> <laughs> is that a what is it? Is that Mount Everest? You're just happy to see me. <laughs> no, that's actually like, that's fucking nuts. No, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. I mean, it's it's also in perfect alignment with the Orion constellation. Wait, the three on. pyramids, the three, the, the belt, the belt of Orion. Wait, hold on. Okay, no, what? Kevin, what? Kevin, what? go. Okay. How do we know that? What are you perfectly aligned? Well, some astronomer dude was like, hey, hey, this looks like Orion. And then he fucking was like... What does he mean? Like, they're, they're, like the distance that Orion is apart... Like, the, the belt of Orion is... Okay, it's symmetrical and, like, each point, like, the same, like, ratio. Yes. I mean? Wait, hold yeah. on. So he's saying if you take the three great... Is it three great pyramids? Uh, the big one is the great. It's Pyramid of Giza. Pyramid. Wait, so the Pyramid of Giza is the only pyramid. one aligned? No, no, all three of them are. Okay, There's yeah, the pyramids exactly. of Giza, so which are up a line of three. Okay, so basically they're saying if you take the pyramids of Giza and you shoot like a straight laser out of the tips of them, they would align with Orion. Is that what it's yes. saying? Yes. But there's some uh, discrepancy, let me just clarify, okay, right. that that would have to mean that, because stars change. There's like pro, I don't know. I don't know what I look at Johnny Depp, Brad Pitt, you know? Yeah, you just dude. never know. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down over there, Jeremy. One day they're fucking <laughs> producing movies about culture and black people like 12 Years a Slave, the next day they're, <laughs> they're possibly <laughs> beating their children on airplanes. <laughs> <laughs> don't believe the hype. <laughs> Unless it's true, I don't know anything. All right. But 12,000 years ago is the exact, like, stars move. So 12,000 mm -hmm. years ago is where, if you did shoot a beam directly up, it would be right there. Where Orion was 12,000 years ago. Yes. Well, how do they know that? Well, because... That's Earth... speculation. No, 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 that's just astronomy. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you know why, Matt? Because that would predicate that the stars are moving today in the same way they were thousands of years ago. They might be changing it up. They might have, they might be on a new diet. They might have found veganness, and they might be moving to Calm a different down, <laughs> <laughs> The star's like, I don't move like that no more, bitch. <laughs> you wrong. <laughs> no, but oh, no, I was going to say about the curvature thing, right? So that, like each each side of the pyramid has that curvature? Yes, oh, each okay. side. Because at first I was like, I was thinking it was just the bottom of the pyramid. I was like, that's not fair, because that's already on Earth. <laughs> 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 it's already being true by Earth. That's cheating, man. <laughs> All right, anyway. All right, so some other things. Uh, Egyptologists claim that it was built within 10, 20 years because of the Khufu emblem and when he would have uh, when he would have constructed it. Can I just comment and say how funny I think the word Egyptologist is? Yeah, I thought it was pretty it's funny like, too. No, I was thinking about it too. It's like, that's crazy. Like, uh, obviously I get it. Egypt is a huge fucking deal. Huge culture. But 
like it's like technically it's just a, like a it's a country right it's a country in africa it's yeah it's yeah. a country, it's a country. You know I mean? yeah oh my gosh absolutely that's where one of our directors no was from i know i know Egypt. i can cut that out <laughs> if you besides want there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well besides there, there the great videos. parking <laughs> very findable parking egypt is also good for no dude when i was thinking about this earlier i feel really <laughs> dumb now because in my head i was thinking egypt was a state and i was like what if one day like in the future because like california is so impactful there's like californiologists <laughs> but it doesn't even translate because egypt is a country <laughs> i'm pretty sure there's gonna be americologists there's gonna like what i'm sure call? like yeah totally like those are two thousand years from now. <laughs> Wait, what, are the, what about yeah are there any other like egyptologists there's no such thing as romanologists is there yeah That's i'm true. sure there is they're just historians that like are we, specifically like study so Roman egyptologists culture. are historians that are specifically they only care about yeah them. it's like you know oh. So like subcategories, yeah. Chineseologists, subprofessions. I mean, yeah, Roman. Yeah, the Roman Empire was fucking huge. But I've Not never, was. I've never heard of like Greekologists or Rome. That's true. I've only heard of Egyptologists. Like, oh, uh, there, there are people who specific, like. Oh, I know there are. I'm there's like never heard classic of them. historians. Might be so the Greek. I'm trying to remember what they were called because when I did my fuck. research for my. Uh, they only care about the Egypt ones, bro. No, that's because Egypt. That's because Egypt was influenced by aliens. That's the there only you go. reason. Influenced by aliens, run by reptilians, and Moses split water with a fucking stick. That's crazy. There was some voodoo stuff going on in Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> there were two. They're estimated to be two million three hundred thousand limestone blocks used in this process that weighed up to fifty tons each. Each. Oh I mean, some God. some were like ten tons. Some were fifteen. Some were like three. I mean, but it all de <laughs> it like depends on the ball. Your boy. <laughs> ten tons. Just a little. <laughs> just a little tons. <laughs> <laughs> and we can't and they used a mortar on the on the out on the outside of the of the pyramids mm -hmm. which was made from polished stones like polished stones that were like incredibly precise and they used a mortar that we cannot replicate today it's Bullshit. waterproof and it's stronger than the stones made to build the pyramids what used to build the pyramids yeah so that aliens uh, clearly aliens That's or madness. or I, mean, I don't want to take away from like human genius i mean mankind's amazing yeah so we might have been wait able to you're saying we can't make the tool today to make the pyramids yeah. no 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 we're not, we're not the we're cement talking, we're not talking about the tool yet we're talking about the mortar wait but have we done like chemical analyses of the mortar yeah we wait, yeah what, we well, know okay. what it's comprised of we just don't I'm know a how carpenter. to replicate it. but oh, granted, know what a granted the same thing was for uh roman we, or, uh, roman cement we couldn't figure out how to replicate it okay so it's like we know what's in it but we don't know so it's like uh up until a few weeks ago it's like kfc fried chicken you kind of know like what goes into it but you don't know how much of each thing you don't know how much love to give to each process right to totally yeah. you're yeah. making no sense <laughs> <laughs> uh wait so what by, by mortar you mean like really curious about that one now. <laughs> You Please mean like explain that, no, that to okay. me after the podcast? Maybe. <laughs> he said after the podcast. Oh, so we're the, about the, the what do you mean by mortar? Like the outside, like like blocks. The, some, yeah, the outside blocks that were made from polished stone that people like they said that you could see it from the heavens. Like that's how like polished and bright these stones were. Well, how did they? They're not that? bright they, anymore. Well, no, that, they didn't no, have no, writing no. until the white people. Six hundred so. years ago, <laughs> the Arabs. There was a crack in the mortar, and mm. the Arabs were like, oh my god, we can exploit this, and we can use the polished stone for our mosques and our palaces. So Wait, they what? took all of the polished stones from the pyramids. Wait, there used to be something else on t on the pyramids? Yeah. How do we know that? Because we we know that the stones, we, there's historical evidence that the stones were moved. Oh, okay. So we like found Wait, so those big fucking stones were just taken? Cute. They're slabs. They were like slabs. And so they were like a like a protective little armadillo casing around the pyramid. Around what we yeah. currently see to be the pyramids. Yes. So the pyramids. I've used never to be heard like gray. that before. The pyramid, not gray. They used to so be gray. like like yeah. They used to shine in the desert sun. Fuck, man. I know. That must have been hot as balls. I know. That, that must have been an eyesore every time you looked at it. <laughs> it's like the... I can't even sit on my motorcycle seat. It's been <laughs> out in the sun too long. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's crazy, dude. I had no idea about that. No, I know. And it stinks, because, I mean, that's... Do we know, like, the mosques heritage. that are made with it now? Like, <laughs> what? Do, do we know any mosques that are made with 
slabs of it now? Is it traceable? Yeah, I didn't or? catch any of the names, but definitely they're actual mosques. They're that's like cool. Known. Yeah, they're I wonder if and just palaces like, that hey, are you plan on giving those back? I mean, I know. Wait, why did they? Uh, I, d- I don't think they can do that. Yeah, it would be am- that would be one of the most amazing projects that mankind could ever embark upon. Like on. rebuild the rebuild. outside. The fucking outside. That would be crazy. What, so why, why did they want to go to the mosques? Well, because it's fucking gorgeous. So like it is. Glory it's not every day you get alien well, bricks. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Being, You're yeah. on my side now? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I need some convincing, but uh, I just want see. aliens to be real and have already been here so bad. I know. Because they can make Star Trek happen. Wait, wait, let's let's pause on the alien topic because we're going to, it's all. We're going to get there. Okay, okay. Let's, also, let's keep Kevin, you need convincing to eat anything besides pot pies. So you saying I need convincing is meaningless. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your point is valid. <laughs> okay, here's a really awesome one. Um, okay, wait. Uh, oh, God damn shoot, 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 shoot. Dick, 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 dick. <laughs> Shut up, guys. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, okay, okay. So these these stones that are that are so precisely made, like point zero one to the de- like inch, like in degree. Point zero. I think it's zero one. Wait, wait, so one thousandth? Yeah, of a degree in air. Are you... Of a degree? Yeah, of of an inch. inch. uh, You mean like a millimeter? Okay, because I'm pretty sure I'm taking a fucking digital fabrication class at CalArts. You are? I'm pretty sure, yeah. I'm pretty sure 3D printers, like, I think that's their degree of accuracy. Point zero zero one? One thousandth of an inch is kind of how we do things out. So if the the freaking Egyptians were a thousandth of an inch within uh, uh, error. error. Like, they were they were like all human, says aliens. They were like human 3D printers. No, exactly. I like how 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 can the Egyptologists like sit down and look at that and tell us that it was made from copper tools? I was like waiting for you to get to Because this they know there's aliens. They've <laughs> already connected with right, them. Right, so they're trying to hide the fact from us? I don't yeah. know. Maybe that's all part of the the aliens' plans. Right, yeah. right, of course. <laughs> no, what's weird to me, though, is, like, it's instead of just admitting, like, okay, we know they couldn't have you made this with copper tools, because I saw in the, in the docket, there was, like, a professional <laughs> was it steel work, bronze worker? What is he? Yeah, yeah. Blacksmith yeah. guy? Uh, yeah, the and he was, Chris Dunn. Chris Dunn. And he was saying there's absolutely no way those materials and, like, like the way they were arranged could have been made with copper tools. There's just no way. And he's with he's got even if years of years of work. Yeah, no matter how much force. And like they would just break, right? They would just break. Well, yeah, things. I mean after like a hundred pounds or whatever, mm-hmm. like hundred like uses, like that shit just goes to shit. Yeah, it's like, it's like it dolls like coppers yeah, coppers we use them as wires. Copper's not a very like hardy material. Yeah. That's okay. in our fucking pennies. That's and how the, little we care about it. Yeah. <laughs> The Egyptologists say that they only had a rope, tools of hardened copper, like folded copper, and stone and wood at their disposal. Yeah, dude, there's no way. There's no way that could be true. Okay, I, and how and how long did it take to build the pyramids? 10 like, to 20 years. Some, it's, it's a very, no, sometimes, some people say 80 years, but I've never heard anything past 80 years. Then, like, what's generally agreed upon is 10 to 20. That is what's generally... That's 2,300,000 huge blocks of limestone yeah and each single each one is like and how many slaves are at the disposal at that time i'm not even sure if they had slaves at the time oh uh, we've is seen the movies the dynasty <laughs> they, they no this been. is fourth uh, dynasty egypt dreamworks i don't think they had no, i'm just kidding like well, moses was, before, was after yeah this was way before those guys we don't even think that they had slaves uh they believed that the the pharaohs used to get like people in the country it would like be like a a, a national service you know like um, why don't we know this shit? Because <laughs> we only care because about George Washington, dude. <laughs> but, so, but this is this is they only speculate because I mean there's only so much that we have found in of Egypt's history. But uh, and, yeah, and, and what time were these pyramids built? Like wh- like the like what year? Like on our calendar? Um, twenty five forty BC. Twenty five forty BC. Holy dang, shit. dude, that's like even more nuts to think it was that many thousands of years ago over the period of approximately 20 years, and to this day, they're still like one of the most remarkable- Aliens. I know. Did, did, what? Yeah, fucking aliens. Well, because you think about every other like major structure that's been built by humans. Yeah. Everything that, Ro- for instance, everything that Rome built yeah. that's traceable, I mean, is in crumbles. Like yeah. it's, it's a, I mean, it's not, 
I mean, the pyramids are like, we're still going. Yeah, Bunch of pussies. They look good. Like, the, like the Coliseum, it looks like Mickey Rourke. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, it's heyday and so far gone. Oh, and it was built like, like, like so far after. Yeah. The pyramids, right? Correct? The Colosseum. And it's like half a Much, yeah. It yeah. was about 2000, 2000 years after. Russell Crowe couldn't save him. No. God damn it. Poor Russell Crowe. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Wait, did he die at the end of the movie? I don't know. He did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so inside the king's chamber is a solid granite coffer, which would have been placed. Wait, what is a coffer? Is that a Pokemon? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, it's like a sarcophagus, but sarcophaguses are used for like mummies. Okay. And we're going to get back to that subject of why it's not a sarcophagus. So it's a coffer that was made from solid granite placed in the chamber during construction. A microscopic analysis shows that it was hollowed out by jewel tip drills with at least two tons of pressure behind it. And yet we're, we're told that it's made by copper tools. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Um, what research says that it was made with jewel tip tools? Uh, every single piece of research that I came across. Well, yeah, like did, wait, every single one. Are we sure that Egyptians didn't have like jewel tip tools or? No, that's what I'm saying. The people who are historians and Egyptologists tell us there's no way they were more advanced than copper tools at the time. And, and these. What if they had these jewels and they knew that they were like super sharp? And but durable. The, but here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, but right? That would be a tool. Then they'd have diamond tip tools. Yeah, or like and that, emerald tip tools. That uh, supersedes history, as historians tell it. And the idea that they have to use 2,000 tons of force, like that's not human. So they would or have two to tons. Two tons. Oh, two tons of force. Which two equals tons. like. Which, which is, is still like incredible. You need other power. And you it's need like, more than human power to get that level of force. Yeah. Without a doubt, manpower is not and, enough. And, for that and to make it accurate, because they could get one of those big fucking things the aliens brought them and just drop it on it. But like, other than that, there's no way they're hollowing out so there was something like, with any no, degree of well. I mean, that's, accuracy. We're gonna. I mean, they might have used machine tools. Yes, we got that. So the relationship between circles. Okay, so there's you know there's a relationship between the circumference of a circle and its diameter. Duh. Yeah, of course. That's a so, Yeah, I know, right? Dude, high school. <laughs> yes. And okay, so if you take the circumference of the Great Pyramid. Kevin doesn't know. No, Kevin just looked at me and was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's all Egypt If you take me. the circumference okay. of the Great Pyramid and divide it by twice its height, it gives you pi. It gives wait, you 3.14159. Wait, the circumference of the Great Pyramid, isn't it a fucking square, though? It is. But that okay, means that the that the Exactly. The pyramid is a circle. What? But we just talked about how it's a square. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's the thing. It's but like its no, base it's, is a square. But, but if you put a circle there, that's the... that's the Yeah, so the oh, outer... If, if you, you put, put a circle, circle around it. Yeah. A cookie cutter. Well, on that's exactly. Like, so that all that means is that they just made like per, like the same size uh, sides, right? Uh, n Not quite. Well, no, because the, the dimensions could because be bigger. Because the height, and it's, it's also in relation to the height. Oh, oh, it's going this way. It's still a circle. No, no, it's the base. If mm -hmm. you had the base, it's a square. You took the circumference of the circle. If you mm -hmm. laid a circle over it, yeah. And then if you if you divided it, if yeah. you divided the circumference of that circle by twice the length, the height of the pyramids, that would equal three point one four one five nine. Okay, that sounds very impressive. I have no, no idea no, it's why just, it's impressive. It's the only reason it's interesting is that the, they knew about pi. They they knew about the it's not like a lucky guess kind of thing. I, well, wait, wait, oh, wait, who invented 3. pi? 3.14159, like that, that's, oh, fudge. like pi goes on forever. Okay, yeah. But they got it to that degree. Wait, hold that's, on. That's who, six numerical values. Who technically invented pi? Isaac Newton, right? Uh, no. Okay, no, that people that, think that, 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 that's, that's a bold ass statement for you. You may have Wikipedia no, no. that like Pi's more invented pie, right? right? Apple, Apple, <laughs> Apple, <laughs> Apple, 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 Apple. Pi has been around for a really long time. Um, I think but, okay, so, uh, Archimedes was like the guy who is heralded as okay. discovering pie. And but, but Archimedes he, was after the pyramids. He was 200 BC. Oh my God. Yeah. So he was like almost 3,000 years after the pyramids. No. That math does not <laughs> add up. <laughs> not really. <laughs> Hold on. More like 200 BC. <laughs> 2,000 years. <laughs> 2, that is incorrect math. <laughs> You'll be fed up. 
<laughs> oh my god, I'm talking too fast, you guys. I'm not giving myself enough time. I'm really good at math. <laughs> okay, so approximately 2,200 years later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 220, uh, Archimedes discovers Pi, but obviously Pi is like the ancient Egyptians figured okay, out. Okay, it would be more impressive if the if the circumference divided by the just plain height of the pyramid equaled 3.14. Well, the diameter of a circle is in relation to the circumference, and the mm -hmm. diameter, if you if you times the diameter by two, that's the radius. That's, that's the why. opposite. Kevin, you didn't take it <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, moving on. I would just like to go on record to say I think I'm oh. right. <laughs> okay, this is a really cool one. The average height of Earth's landmass measured by our satellites. This is used, this is measured by our satellites, okay? Like from Miami being like, you know, like, you know, Miami's gonna be swallowed up pretty soon because yeah, it's so it's close gone. to the, it's so level. That in, that in like the Himalayas, mm -hmm. that's like averaging out the height of landmass. Yeah. Is five thousand four hundred forty nine inches. Guess what that is? The height of the pyramids. Bingo. What? Okay, hold on. But there's no way the average height of landmass, the difference in of landmass height, was the same back then as it is now. Uh, pretty much. If you think about how, like, that's true. Slow it takes landmass, millions of years. Yeah, it takes it takes a while. I mean, it's only been like forty six hundred years. That's true. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, it's probably like the so like Miami still years. got like a thousand years or so. Ooh, before. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably got like twenty years, thirty years. What? Dude, isn't like dude, global warming, dude? Isn't like Barcelona? Oh, isn't California I, supposed to sink? Barcelona. I wasn't. Malibu? I wasn't factoring in global warming. No, I was yeah. talking about. Ma like, I don't. Don't say that. <laughs> Pizza dollars for the people at home. We'll, we're in Malibu. We'll right right now. Malibu forever. <laughs> Malibu, yeah. <laughs> okay, so okay, this, no, that's very impressive. Yeah. Okay, so time. this kind of all next, goes next, back next. to Graham Hancock. Dick, 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 dick. <laughs> dick, 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 dick. This all kind of goes back to Graham Hancock, who's uh, <laughs> all, he's <laughs> a guy. Nice he's Hancock. <laughs> Hancock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who, who Graham Hancock? What? He w he's kind of a Egyptologist on and technologist on um, like theories that aren't exactly in mainstream. Mm -hmm. So he said, and he's the author of Magicians of the Gods. I recommend anyone who wants to read that. To, uh, I hear it's a good book. I haven't read it. <laughs> <laughs> Endorsing the shit. I just got quotes from. Hey everybody, I've heard Citizen Kane is a fantastic film. Best ever. Watch it. <laughs> okay, so he said, we will get further in our understanding of the Great Pyramids if we follow the premise that it is an accurate reflection on the technology that was developed and used by the society that built it. Skip a little later, he said, a lack of correlation between what they see in the desert and what they know to be history. Exactly. And that goes and back. And no is in quotes on that. I, yeah. don't, I don't know what you just said. Basically, it just oh, really? goes back Sorry. to what we talked about earlier, right? It's like the people, the historians know in quotation marks that the Egyptians only had proper tools. Exactly. But clearly, they, had they did diamonds not. And Spock stuff. would say that it's illogical that they yeah. used copper yes. tools. Yeah, and like yeah. But, and people can't. Spock would be having their shit. Yeah, like the general consensus cannot admit that they must have had more than copper tools. And it's ridiculous to me that that guy, right, makes perfect sense and he's considered like a fringe thinker. He never says, I know that the pyramids are built by aliens. Oh, shit. Yeah. And if he's anything like Chris Dunn, Chris Dunn is like, I don't know anything about the pyramids except for what I see. And what I see is not them using copper tools. Yeah. Is not them without the wheel. Oh, like that's shit. the thing. That, they that they said that they didn't have the admit. wheel. That's like ridiculous. Okay, oh, wait, very so a bunch I'm, of limestone I'm, I'm still blocks. Thinking like, you know, like time frame, I'm still thinking like Roman technology here and we're no, like this is like this is like way further back. Gosh, but damn. granted, this technology might have just been lost and then rediscovered, and yeah. then lost and then rediscovered. Which is a trend in history. Yeah, because the only people who really made I mean the people who really proliferated like writing stuff down was Western culture. So all these well, I mean, we, so we, they had like no. That's like super crazy to think of them getting the slabs in place without a wheel, or even with a wheel. Because what would the wheel have to have been made out of? How big would that wheel have to be to move those these gigantic? No, it's actually. I mean, it, it, could, it could. I think wheels. Wooden, could, wooden wheels could take the weight. Ten tons. They would have to go a block at it. How much do the blocks weigh again? 
Uh, 10 to 30, right? Yeah, 10 to 50. Oh, 10 to 50. Tons. 50? Which equals 50. how many pounds? Granted, there's some discrepancy. Some people say 50, some people say, you know, well, 15 mass. Grab one of those motherfuckers and. and Isn't 50 it. tons 100,000 pounds? Are you just throwing off random ass? I don't actually. even. I don't. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna convert. Uh, tons, I'm gonna convert t- tons to pounds right now. Fifty tons is one hundred thousand pounds. How the hell did you know that? Because two thousand. Uh, wooden wheels could not support that weight. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Those were probably those were like the biggest blocks. So the smallest blocks would weigh 20,000. Ten. Yeah, because they're ten tons times two. So, uh, I points. know, yeah, the, the, not, maybe. The 20,000? Maybe. I mean, I've had 7,000 pounds of concrete in the back of a truck. And it was weighing the, the suspension <laughs> is, like, not giving a single fuck. Yeah. I mean, the tires are still good, but, like, but whatever. Like your tailgate's almost touching I mean, that weight put on any <clears throat> s- sort of wooden frame is... Is uh, I mean, Harrison. And, and we're we're already speculating that they had wheels when we they know did. that they didn't. Yeah. Oh wait, wait. When we know in quotation marks that they didn't, and the seven thousand pounds you were moving was moved by like a mechanical motor. They just had their bodies, as far as we know. Uh, they had, had they like had basic um, domestication of animals yet? Had they like did they have? I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, they that's had. a good question. My guess is they probably did. I yeah. think uh, mankind started domesticating animals once we started s- setting up civilization. Yeah. I think when the agriculture boom kind of happened. Agricultural yeah. revolution. Yeah. It was right so around hunters cows. and gatherers. Yeah. <laughs> and went hunters and gatherers, and then, like, very quickly, it was, like, domestication of animals, yeah. I believe. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Settlements. And but even then, I don't know an animal that could pull that even kind of weight. That. And I, I, think, I, yeah. I think I heard oxes. They had oxes. Yeah, but can you imagine, too, like, what? These oxen are going to walk up the slope of the pyramids dragging one of the slabs behind them well um, manpower did they okay so they had wooden tools but they well let me the wooden tool thing comes to what chris dunn has to say about Mm -hmm. what he thinks their machines were Uh, chris dunn he's a master craftsman said having worked with copper on numerous occasions and having hardened it in the manner suggested above uh, suggested by the egyptologists I was struck that this statement was entirely ridiculous. Even after being hardened in this manner, the statement was entirely ridiculous. Even, just sorry, I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> even, even after being hardened in this manner, the copper is not capable of cutting granite. And this goes back to cutting the granite slab, like hollowing out that granite, granite um, uh, coffer. Yeah. So even like the stones that the pyramid is built of, not the not the pretty shit that was stolen, just the, like the the like the structure of the pyramid itself could not be cut out with copper tools. No, no. What? Well, uh, just just the granite, pretty much. Which the granite being the granite the, is for the coffers, right? Yeah. So the guy, this guy, I E S Edwards, a British etologist, said their axes and chisels were made of hardened copper by hammer. Yeah. So there's no way, no matter how hard the copper is, that it's gonna chisel um, granite. Exactly, that's what Chris Dunn, well, he said that he did the experiment, tools? he hardened copper with a hammer, and it just did not hold up against the granite. Like, yeah. you're talking about like granite slabs. <laughs> like blocks and this of is, granite. And this is, this is the shit that was stolen, like, for, from the outside of the pyramids. No, 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 that was made of something else, right? Oh, those were stone. The shiny yeah, no, stone. No, this this was like a certain type of limestone on the outside. Is what you're oh, talking. Yeah, okay. No, the granite, this is the coffer. Yeah, yeah, the coffer. So the sarcophagus without a mummy that was found inside the pyramids. Hmm. That is what the granite whoa, was made out of. Granite. Maybe our exactly. science just doesn't know shit. Maybe like, the, <laughs> or maybe these Egyptologists just have such a big head about Western culture and how amazing they are that they can't believe that these Egyptians <laughs> were able to build this. Yeah. They don't want to give it, like, credence. Which is crazy, because how do you de- dedicate your life to studying a culture and then not start, start to empathize with it and think about it yeah, in a way t- that's... Well, because Why all signs... I, I want to know, and I wish I knew more about the time period that, uh, that, that this was built in, because, like, I mean, could we build the pyramids today? We can build the pyramids today, right? Totally. Okay. I think so. We might be able to build them better. We're 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 speculating how difficult it would be to, to just make one pyramid. They've and got they made, three of those motherfuckers. 
And those are just the, those are just the great ones. And those are just the, yeah the Giza ones. The Giza oh. There's, there's plenty of My mind is blown. I forgot. There are other pyramids. <laughs> Tons of pyramids in Egypt, right? I believe so, yes. All right, we're going to believe it. Well, ask Besma. Why don't we have Let's her not here? Oh, my God, she would be such a great... I told her, because uh, uh, she's in one of my classes, I was like, Besma, we're going to do our first podcast on uh, on Egypt and the Great Pyramid. She's like, why? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you don't understand Besma. Western people, we don't know that much. We just said that they exist and like brown people made them. <laughs> and also that there's probably great parking around them. <laughs> Way out in Egypt. <laughs> oh, God. God in hell. Okay, all right, next bullet point. Next comes to like, what in God's name were the pyramids used for? A lot of Egyptologists, like religion. almost every Egyptologist, thought that, yeah, it would be a religious, it would be a way to send the pharaohs off to the, to the- uh, Aliens. No. <laughs> <laughs> off to their, quote, heaven. Off Bro, to the, my anus. the undying lands. Um, but it's not a tomb because no original mummies were found in the Great Pyramids. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What do you mean original mummies, Matt? I, they find, have they found replica mummies? Are, are you no, they, no. Have they found, are have you they found out second-hand the thrift store mummies? <laughs> no. Have they, so. have they at least found Brendan Fraser, Matt? <laughs> I'm going to pop some mummies. <laughs> God damn, I love this movie. Uh, around like uh, the Seti dynasty, which is 640 BC, which is obviously like uh, that's 1500 like, years yeah, after. Exactly. That's like, and they, it became a fashion to use the pyramids as tombs. Oh, so it would we be don't kind of, find what? It would, it would be like somebody doing it. Uh, as saying, look how powerful I am. That I'm. I'm being buried in the in the pyramid. Yeah, like I'm a king. Like, I used to be buried in these like ancient things that we don't even know how to, people built them anymore. I don't even think they knew how to build the pyramids at that point in time. And it was probably <laughs> like forgot. sacrilegious. Totally I would imagine to what to bury to be like the first time somebody was buried in the pyramids was probably uh, sacrilegious. Or well, I think I mean pharaohs are gods. In there, uh, like right. Well, yeah, like but like, or something like that, yeah, that yeah, yeah, still like, had to be controversial. That like, probably. But dude, uh, hold on. If you think about our culture, right, and you think about okay, these people are like approximately eight hundred years later. They're gonna go into their tombs and they're gonna like bury their people there. If you think about just generationally, how much Americans like resent the religion and beliefs of their parents. I'm sure within eight hundred years, there's like a lot of change. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, like, and with fuck almost, you, Khufu. With us, well, we're also have free thought, and this is assuming that yeah, Matt's but right. Also, that pharaohs are considered gods. Yeah. yeah, and many pharaohs, when they took power, actually changed religions. Yeah, there you go. They well, they they took a new take. Like they made more gods, like lesser gods, become primary gods. Yeah, like I yeah. kind of like this aspect of it. Yeah, yeah like yeah. I want Ra, who was maybe a secondary god way back when. I want him to now be our primary god. Yeah. But that's wild to think about. Like literally, like for like 800 years, there were no bodies being like buried, quote unquote. Dude, keep going. Yeah. You said it was like 1500 and then years. Yeah. The, all huh? the- so wait, wait, I, thought, I thought they were built in like 2400, 2300 BC. And then yeah. six, uh, around 600 BC, they started yeah, buried. around 1500. Oh, wait, it's 600. What? Wait, what are you talking about? Seti, 600 BC. Six, Seti was 600. Oh, okay. I thought it was so 1500 like, for some reason. Oh, because yeah. I said it's like 1500 years later, so like they start burying. Years. Yeah, yeah. You're you're more Asian. You get mad. But still, eighteen hundred <laughs> years later, that's approximately eighteen hundred years of no sarcophagi being buried in the pyramids. Yeah. Yes. I mean, they they used uh, the Valley of Kings. Yeah, which wait, you guys have heard of. Yeah, yeah. What yes. are they? Uh, okay, enlighten uh, me. Continue. Please, that's please. where all the that's where all the pharaohs are buried. Yeah. So which it's like is... a valley. They just built a bunch of tombs in this valley in Egypt, and like they would bury kings there. But what do these tombs look like? Are they like just kind of like little square Where I kind of saw, yeah, they'd be like places inside the wall. Like they would be built out of the very rock face. Okay, so valley. like little caves kind of. Kind of, except they're like, they're sealed and they're very nice. And this is built. where yeah. the old like pharaohs were built. Yes. Were put, yeah. Like before yeah. they started just throwing them in the pyramid. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. So for like 1800 years, they were put in the Valley of Kings. Uh, then they're like, let's put him in the pyramids. I wonder if it was just like yeah, a exactly. convenience thing. They're like, we got these giant fucking things built. Let's I just. I, I don't want to ferry our dead pharaohs all the way. We have to dig out know. another goddamn tunnel. I also really want to know because I've seen the diagrams of the tunnels that are entryways to the pyramids. Mm -hmm. Do they have like wooden staircases like up to the entryways? Like how they get up there back then? Dude, I, I have no idea. You know what I mean? I don't. They were just like really. I mean, that's the thing. Is it a tomb? 
is it is it meant for people to go inside maybe pay worship or yeah. maybe not there are maybe... probably temples like they had to have been temples because mm. like for worship because there's no other way you like maybe it, i mean it could have been multiple things uh, the people back home there's this carving uh it's called the uh, car it's the carving in Dendera. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Who cares? We're Americans. Yeah, right. Do what we want. Dendera. <laughs> we still call Native Dendera. Americans Indians. <laughs> <laughs> we know we're wrong. We just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, in this picture, as you can see, there's oh, that's well, the dick pic. Yeah, dude. This is the fucking. This is. I mean, Egyptologists say that it's fertility, but in it's my a light opinion. Bulb. This, yeah, it looks like a damn light bulb. Yeah, that's a filament. It like, looks like yeah. an Egyptian dude holding a light bulb with a filament. And a copper wire. And a copper wire that connects to a power source. Or that he's holding like some, it almost could also look like he's holding like a spotlight. Well, yeah, you know? uh, maybe like I, a, either a way inside like their building. It's suggestive of a vibrator <laughs> <laughs> or a light source. Wild. Both of which were not around at the time that these uh and that's and that's in the pyramid? No, no, no. It's not in the pyramids. It's in a different city. Was it built around the same Dendera. time? What? Was it built around the same time? Uh no. I mm. I bet you nothing was built around the same time if they were busy building these motherfuckers. It might have been built around the same time. I'm pretty sure this certain city, I might be off on this, but I think this city like fell into the water. Oh wow! It was like near oh. like the delta of the so Nile. So good thing that's they got Atlantis. A yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's what a lot of people think. A lot of people think that this city that fell into the water was Atlantis. Wait, then how'd they get that picture, dude? Because they found it. And like, like brought it up from the depths. Yes. Oh my god. This might not be from that. These might be two different topics. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Anyway. Uh, <clears throat> so, but as you can see, like I, people at home, I highly recommend that you look this up. It's called. Uh, the carving in Dendera. That's and a badass name. Yeah, I know. Dendera. <laughs> or We're Dendera hieroglyph. Well, Sounds like. Asian. <laughs> but you can see there are like there are coil there are Tesla coils right fucking there. Yeah, no, that's like a very clearly a Tesla. That's either like a girl with a Tesla coil torso twerking upside down, or just a Tesla coil. <laughs> I mean, you have. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but there's a wire. I mean, that's the weird thing. It's a wire. It's a what looks like what looks like a snake inside. That did you know if filament. you just like coil copper wires? They like the um, oh shit! I started talking before I thought this all the way through. You're talking about like magnets through, and then you can. Oh uh, yeah, you can. Uh, it generates current that way. That's why mm -hmm. like everything's coiled because it naturally does that by itself. Yeah. Um, generates electricity. It's crazy. It's like just a natural phenomenon. That's like no, it, uh, phenomenal. Yeah, it is. It is a phenomenal phenomenon. phenomenon. <laughs> also, do we have any water in here? I'm I am parched. I am. It's so hot in here. And it's it's as hot as Egypt. Okay. <laughs> hey. ah, let's yeah, build a pyramid. <laughs> not just talking about my dick. <laughs> what? <laughs> Calm down, Jeremy. <laughs> so there are like tons of different theories of why it was made. Mm -hmm. uh, theory one, many believe that the pyramids were built as a landing pad for alien vehicle. <laughs> why do they need landing pads? I don't really know. How did they land here in the first place? <laughs> uh, also, I don't uh, know if you know how physics works, but uh, it's pretty hard to land at the tip of something. <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> They're just like super flaming, <laughs> yeah. gay hey, dude, aliens. I don't know, dude. Maybe like maybe they just, like, like eject and land with their anuses. Maybe like their 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 spaceships were at the bottom of it was the shape of a pyramid, the concave version. That'd be so just, uh, like, uh, perfectly. Okay. Right. Okay. We're, we're like getting floating saucers with like a little thing with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like you, it floats on a point on your desk. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know. What you're like, about. like it's the Star Trek Enterprise, and it's perfectly balanced. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, no, there. I've seen some. I want to say I've seen some sci-fi shows where that is a scenario where like uh, Stargate. Yeah, Stargate. I think they yeah. they land <laughs> over That's, the the like, pyramid. Like, well, like I it's a, think the pyramid is. I think the pyramid is the spaceship. Yeah. Right. Um, it's like a bad spaceship. Yeah. I mean, or you said that this these pyramids, when the time they were built, are aligned perfectly with Orion. Well, twelve thousand years ago, which was obviously wait, like okay, with well, twelve thousand years ago, thousand years ago before when they, they were aligned, they were built. 
oh so that fact isn't as cool well it's um, not as cool but at the same time it might like obviously i think that the pyramids like, at one time i was aligned with orion's belt i'm sure <laughs> 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 the tryouts boys. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I don't no, know. I, it's funny though to imagine that because like the, the need. I mean, obviously it's a stupid theory because we. Why would they need a landing pad? How would they have landed to build the pyramids if they needed landing pads? Exactly. But the idea is funny. Think of just like a super like just like super <laughs> prissy aliens. Like, yeah. don't get dust on the spaceship. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you need something to buffer in. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> So there are other theories like what, what? Yeah, what are the other ones? David Davidson, after many months of, spec of inspecting and exploring the Great Pyramids, entertained the idea that maybe the pyramids were not a tomb, but a testament or a time capsule of their ancient ancient technologies and knowledge, okay, which makes a lot of sense with the relationship with Pi. I mean, if they were a time capsule and testament to knowledge, they did a very shitty job. Why are there no what? music CDs? In Where's the Kanye? Chamber. Maybe they didn't have music. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a statue of a guy playing the like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and plus, they did. They had, they had that 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 uh, hieroglyph in Dendara. Yeah, you know. That just, I mean, I kind of see like like showing a look how big our dick is. We made the pyramids. Well, like, the Egyptians are some of the first forever. people to um, like first civilizations. Like one of the first civilizations to actively record stuff, aren't they? Yeah, like with like written quote language. I mean, yeah, yeah, and language. so written um, language. Trying to preserve their ancient technology. I think Sumeria would, might have been the first one with like cuneiform. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, Man, dude, was, all this stuff well, is like is so incredibly interesting to me that if I researched it as much as my heart desires, I would get no work done. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think it's super fascinating too to see like where we come from. Well, that and it's just yeah. like. Yeah, there's so many things that like throughout history it has shown that had we paid more attention to history like shit would have like worked yeah, yeah. and we like, we're like oh that guy already did what I was trying to do and it's I'll like yeah. do what he did yeah, there you go. <laughs> like do we not believe in hindsight like or you know um, I think we finally do I mean I think we're getting to the point where we're building off of giants dude I saw a uh, like a little comic strip on Facebook and it was like uh, the, the, the fountain of hindsight and the guy comes up and he drinks out of the water. He's like, ooh, he's like, huh, I should have tested that water for diseases. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, right? <laughs> um, no, because there's, there's uh, you know, throughout history, there's been great losses of knowledge. Like, uh, you know. Oh, my God. The fucking library of Alexandria. Mm -hmm. That still pisses me off. Oh, my God. And so what exactly? That was looted or burned. That was it was burned. burned. Just what like the fuck, so many years like, of no written knowledge, like yeah. the Western like, knowledge, like, religious matters. Just fucking. It probably knew <sighs> what happened to the pyramids. It probably knew exactly what aliens. It probably did. fucking did, dude. Dude, that'd be crazy. okay. So, uh, forgive me, but geographically, where is Alexandria? It's in it's, Greece, right? I thought it was in like near Constantinople. Yeah, well, because I I researched Constantinople a lot because it's it's fascinating. Like, yeah, uh, is the capital of Rome? Alexandria. Well, where was Alexandria? Alexandria, I thought Google was Constantinople back in the day, or at least it was close. I think we should do a separate study on this because all my medieval like video games that I played, nerd, a shout out, <laughs> Total War. Um, oh my gosh, dude! Alexandria is in Egypt. What? Yeah, I, I I knew I know I know no, no, there are multiple Alexandrias. Oh, okay. No, I Alexandria. Is, it's okay, in I'll look Egypt up where was the library. I'll look was up where like, the library was. Was it on the Mediterranean? Well, no, some people say that they... Oh, my God. But hold on, let me look up the library. Some people uh, said that they moved all of this uh, information that was in the Tower of Alexandria. Before. People want to believe that. It, to Constantinople. Because oh, really? Constantinople was the capital. It was, though. It was. The Library of Alexandria was in Alexandria, Egypt. So it was not too far from the pyramids. Oh. And so the knowledge was definitely there. Oh, without a doubt. Oh my gosh. Um, and you so, guys have seen National Treasure with Nick Cage. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> of course. Hot Tub Time Machine Three. We're gonna. They gotta go to the Alexandria. <laughs> find out what the pyramids were, bro. <laughs> yeah. So like all that the culture and everything, just the great loss of knowledge that's there. So like. Poor Egypt, man, trying to keep all this knowledge preserved and then just... Barbarians. Yeah. I mean, all jokes aside, I think that's the true reason the pyramids were built, was a testament to knowledge. But I think, I feel like it's more functional. You, because well, they have, why do they have all these chambers inside if it was just to 
to wag their dicks around. And I love that you just mentioned that okay. because that is <laughs> theory three. <laughs> Christopher Dunn's theory revol Christopher Dunn, who's he uh, wrote the book uh, The Giza Power Plant. Mm -hmm. His theory revolves around the idea that the Great Pyramid is a power plant. In this theory, the, Egypt, uh, the Egyptians had developed the ability to create power plants and therefore produce electricity to power many things, including power tools with which the pyramids were built. From what I understand, the king's chamber has many uh, granite beams that are commonly thought to just support the building. But Chris Dunn suspects that these granite supports were actually critical mechanisms in the creation of electricity. When quartz expands and contracts, it produces an electrical current. This is called the I don't know how to pronounce piezoelectric effect, and apparently, and apparently, these granite beams are comprised of more than fifty-five percent quartz. If these granite beams were specially crafted to resonate at the same base frequency as the Earth and the pyramids, then it would be possible that they could produce a steady current of electricity. <sighs> but, <laughs> but I feel there's a but coming. Now, there have been many accounts of the pyramid's amazing acoustic properties, and maybe this energy was being directed through the southern shaft, which kind of goes to what you were saying. Why were all these shafts created? Maybe they were funneling energy. Oh, right. Okay, so this is another theory that maybe this energy was, um, was projected through one of the shafts to a spaceship that would gather the energy. And that's why, I mean, Chris Dunn says maybe that's what it is. Maybe. He doesn't really know. Well... What I find incredibly odd is that there's no, there's nothing to suggest that that's possible. Like, I mean, or, or that these tools were even in existence. Did they like build these massive generators and then lose the ability to make the tools? Like, maybe the, maybe what, the what aliens tools? were like, maybe. what tools? Well, he's saying that these, well, because if they pow if they had electrical power, yeah, they would have like why, if they had the knowledge to make these things that could create electrical power how did they lose it well, how, well first how did they lose it aliens second of all <laughs> they would they they made it for a reason and it was for tools or for their giant vibrator looking things like what if the pyramids were for that and then the aliens that so clearly helped build them were like all right we're going to teach a man to fish we're going to give you this this is how you will make electricity we'll do it naturally and then like pulled out of the project but like the pyramids are done which is why i don't think that could be possible well my my skepticism like where are the tools well just real quick my skepticism like even like at a more base level is like if the pyramids were used as electrical sources how would they have even built the first pyramid to get the first round of electricity aliens you know I mean? bro well if we, if we assume it's just humans though well, if what, we if, what if they built it on like a low scale and then they were mm. like, okay, what if we build the pyramids, the other, which are a massive power plant, mm. and we get all the power we need forever? I love the theory, though. I think it's like the coolest theory it, it's of all the research. <laughs> I love it. Uh, you like, guys can't see, up, but I have my hand raised. Shooting, uh, beaming, yes, shooting, beaming energy. <laughs> are the pyramids of Giza, are they the oldest pyramids? Because I, I don't know the answer to that. Because if they are, that would debunk the build up to them theory. Um, That's true. Well, mm, Man. Also, we still have not found the tools. Hold on. Well, that, that's like different. Like, well, it's what, possible they're still buried somewhere. We just haven't found them. Yeah, there are plenty well, of things uh, that. What? I just had my, my favorite theory. Here's my favorite theory. I just this is a Jeremy Griffith theory. People will research this. All right, all right, ready all for right. it? Ready? <laughs> yes. All right. The aliens helped the Egyptians build power. Right? Like they like taught them how to do it, and they like started doing it on a larger and larger scale. And the aliens are like, you have to give us a bunch of the power to so they fund lists of spaceships and give the aliens power to do what they wanted. And the Egyptians thought the aliens were good. But then the aliens started anally probing all the Egyptians. <laughs> the Egyptians were like, no, 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 no. What have we done? And they like, no, 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 no. And then they like, set about to destroy the key mechanisms of all the pyramids to shut down the energy forever. Okay. To save their anal <laughs> Bro, areas okay. yeah. from being to destroyed. Okay. Rectum, so. See? A hold up, hold up. I, 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 I have a better theory. Okay, Aside from Jeremy's anal probing, yes. that scenario isn't entirely, like, wrong. Like, if aliens did give us these tools and were, like, demanding tribute, like, that, first of all, that that is basis for why, like, there's so many ancient cultures that, like, 
worship gods that I mean exactly. and I mean go, going back to the power plant thing I the power plant the energy might not have been used by the Egyptians it might have been that the aliens came down they were like whoa this is a nice pit stop <laughs> <laughs> these, these Egyptians are pretty cool like <laughs> let's, oh. let's use them as labor we'll study your planet for a little bit we need energy so you build the pyramids for us we'll give you the technology to be able to do it once the pyramids were built maybe I don't know maybe they helped maybe they were even the ones that fertilized the Nile who knows and then they were like, all right, guys, we got to pack up. We got to get out of here. We're going off to, you know. But the Nile the was already fertile, wasn't it? What? The Nile was fertile, though, wasn't it? Or... Yeah. But they're like, here, let's help let's help these people out. Yeah, I mean, maybe, like, my guess is maybe they were good. But why terrifying. haven't we heard from these aliens? What? Why haven't, this is the, this is why, like, the most base thought of, like, why people think we haven't been visited by aliens yet is, well, uh, where are they? Well, maybe they have already been here. Yeah, but we're like, ta -ta, we're you're not telling us we're a one night stand here. <laughs> like, well, what if they realize that humans weren't ready for contact into their quote federation or whatever, well, or like contact with them? So instead of, you know, giving us all this technology that we weren't ready for, they provided a map, AKA the pyramids to be able to find them again. Contact you know what, them when, when we're ready. You know what happened, bro? The aliens were like, yo, this place seems pretty dope. And then they saw a U.S. cop, like, shoot an unarmed black guy. Like, no, they're not ready for this. They're not <laughs> oh, ready yet. Yeah. I thought it was going back to anal probes. It was back so much to ACP report. <laughs> 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 Hyperdrive. <laughs> God damn it, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's Gizmodo kind of gave a list of Is that a, other any weird... relation to Frodo? Or... No. <laughs> okay. No, it's a journalist. Okay. Stupid. <laughs> And they kind of gave some lists of some other things that people people believe. Uh, that I mean, what, what are else do for? people believe? Religion, well, uh, aliens. Yeah, the pyramids were built to store power. grain, possibly. But that doesn't make any sense. Why you can you store grain any, other ways. I know, exactly. <laughs> the rednecks oh, out in where I'm from know how to Noah store Noah built the pyramids. Hmm? Good old like Noah. Noah did? Yep. yep. He was uh, such a good architect. Yeah, he's like, I did this ark. It's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's an actual belief? That's an actual belief. Wait, when was the Ark? that time period? Um, no. Noah no, doesn't sound like an Egyptian name. Was, was it, didn't I Noah, don't think there's any, like, time date. Didn't Noah uh, live, Noah. like, over 800 years? That's he, what they said. He could have dipped into I think the they said right? he, he lived a really long time. <laughs> but that could have just been, like, Oh, this years. was also before the calendar. You know what happened? Noah? Right? Definitely. Yeah. I bet Noah was just I so no old, right? And so old and so strong. And like he probably didn't shave his whole life. So he had 800 years of beard growth. So he would just stand on top of the pyramids and they'd take his hair and tie it around the slabs. And he would just like, just like power lift it. Like, <laughs> oh come my God. on, slab. <laughs> like, thanks, Noah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> that, 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 that's something else. There's, there was no calendar at the time that these pyramids there were There might have been. There's the Mayan calendar. Right? But how, like, how old is that? Though? I don't know if you know, but our calendar is based off the Mayan calendar. As in, we we're like, this is a good idea. We should steal this. And the Egyptians and Mayans, I don't think, have made any contact, though, as Guys, far as I gotta be honest. If they could build the pyramids, they probably had a calendar. Especially since uh, there's another thing. I didn't really quite understand it, but um, during the solstice, uh, which during the dawn and dusk of the solstices it looks like the sun hits the pyramid in a way where it looks like it's eight sides oh that's pretty dope like that's pretty dope because of the way it's concave yeah dude oh, these pyramids shoot. man i know that's wild man All right, i want to go to the pyramids now. i want to like do they give tours inside I, they, I mean they have to yeah I mean, it's like a, it's got to be a world heritage site, man. I really want to go inside. One of the seven wonders. The yeah. Kings. I want to go to all the seven wonders, man. God, oh, what, what are the seven wonders? The pyramids. Well, there are the ancient ones, and then there are the new ones. All right, you guys ready for the? And the new ones are like stupid. Season wow, one of Try House Tells: Histories and Mysteries. <laughs> yeah. So there's there's some other uh, things like um, the Great Pyramids foretell the date of the apocalypse. Wait, what? I don't really know how, how that makes any sense. That's whatsoever. what people think. That's somehow yeah. they're telling them. But everybody always goes to the apocalypse. Yeah, exactly. Anything that we can't understand. Oh, it's the apocalypse. Okay, hold on. And also, why would we need to know the date of that? 
Yeah, I, I, huh. like nobody needs that. The like aliens have the day. Like humans, humans don't and, build shit for yeah. the end. And how exactly is the world just gonna end? Was, aliens, bro. Well, it's for people who believe in God, man. People who believe in the day of reckoning, the day of judgment. I don't mm. think the Egyptians uh, had the Bible, so. Oh no, they didn't. But I mean, I, I mean, sure they, they absolutely didn't. They still but, believe in gods and power, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, who builds something, and it's like this great thing that they build the best thing they could ever build mm -hmm. and it's only purpose is to be like shit's gonna end yeah no that's super dumb <laughs> it offers it offers <laughs> no way to help it's just like shit's shit's Not gonna end that's like yeah that's like if like jean paul sought like made the <laughs> made the pyramids hold on let me just say the seven wonders book of, the, of the ancient world all right it's the great pyramid of giza number one baby hanging oh, yeah. gardens of babylon Oh, Colossus. Babylon's another thing we can yeah, talk about. Yeah, that's fun. Colossus okay. of Rhodes, Temple of Artemis, Lighthouse of Alexandria. Thanks, dude. Egypt had like a monopoly on. Anyway, Statue of Zeus at Olympia, and the Mausoleum at Halicarnassus. So the, it seems like that's like Greek and uh, Egypt dominated that list mostly. Like, yeah, pretty exclusively the seven ancient wonders, the seven wonders of the ancient world. Which means Genghis like Genghis Khan is rolling in his grave. I didn't go to sing. That's because Genghis Khan was a little fucker and just like destroyed everything. Yeah. Oh, who who burned uh, the uh, library? Library of Alexander. Wasn't it just like I, a, I think it was the Ottomans? Ottomans? I thought it was just like a bunch of like religious people. No, I, no, I think it was the just, Ottomans. Really? I, I mean, I think. Uh, uh, sorry, Ottomans, if I'm wrong. But it was, it was the Ottomans. The privileged white teens. It was Brock Turner. I, and okay, yeah. Definitely. Okay, hold up. I think the Ottomans, and I could totally be wrong on this. I think the audience, Ottomans were an amazing civilization. Oh yeah, they they preached uh, semi secular beliefs and like you know freedom of thought, and that's why it was able to prosper. And, and, and then I think there was a change. There was like a big shift where people rejected those ideals, and ah, was supported it supported like, Donald Trump? Exactly. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's um, there are four, and that's when they built. That's when they burned them. I think. It's like, psh there are four possible occasions that they think the fires that destroyed the library could have come. Are you going to listen now? Yeah. Do you, you want, want to? They were absolutely I think, I think we should wait and tell a different podcast. Right. Well, we, 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 we can just talk about it now. We can just cut this out. Like, oh, yeah. Okay. So the four possible occasions for the partial or complete destruction of the Library of Alexandria. The first, Julius Caesar's fire during his civil war in 48 BC. Damn it, Julius. Number two, the attack of Aurelian in AD 270 to 275. Don't know Number what that is. three, the decree of Coptic Pope Theophilus of Alexandria in 391 AD, or a Muslim conquest of Egypt. Ottomans. Fuckers. Because the Ottomans were the ones that conquered Constantinople, right? Yeah. Hmm. And, yeah, and it was believed that the, you know, the. I thought it was believed that they brought the um all the stuff that survived from the library over to constantinople yeah. I'm, that, not sure, I'm not sure if the audience had constantinople the whole time they might have yeah know. well constantinople like it's got i mean i i mean isn't it technically part of turkey i think it's it's right on the it's in between it's in between it literally yeah because constantinople is uh it's like the entryway to europe yeah, by land, huh. uh, and by sea for so northern Europe. So it is Europe. definitely Turkey. It borders Turkey and Greece. Uh, it's, it's Istanbul. Yeah, it's oh, it's a modern. It's modern day Istanbul. Modern day Istanbul is yeah. Constantinople. Former, Constantinople. and the, and it had huge walls. I remember like reading about. It. Okay, this, wait, which country is it in? Istanbul. It's in Turkey. Turkey. It's in Turkey. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Sweet. All right. So anyway. uh, I, this is my favorite one right here. Satan built the pyramids. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, make it more, he's like, make it more red. Oh, you don't have paint yet? <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Satan. Okay, why is that thought of before God? Dude, I... That, I no, I, I don't know. What's well, because like, sense. <laughs> no, you know what it is? It's because to so many people, knowledge is thought of as, as the devil's anti-God stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's sad that it's the thought process. And like, dude, it goes back to the basic, the Garden of Eden, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Don't eat that. And they didn't even know that it was a bad thing to eat it because they didn't have that knowledge.
so the acquirement of knowledge is always uh, uh, synonymous with like the devil's work and temptation and all this bad stuff aliens bro and so yeah, yeah. the pyramid damn that sucks all right so another the fifth one is the pyramids were originally hills <laughs> and then it's been like perfectly weathered <laughs> like freaking like the, the movie twister the movie twister happened to Egypt and it's like oh <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> and just left <laughs> oh no wait I think I get what the thought process is here like they were they're there used to begin to be, with they were used to be hills and mountains and rather than assembling the pyramids on flat ground they chiseled them out of a hill and then took away excess yeah, but that still doesn't make any sense. I mean, that's easier. That actually they sounds were clearly made out of stones that were individually placed. They were, it's a very specifically constructed thing. That's a, that's a dumb theory, dude. That is. I don't even know what that's on the internet, dude. I don't know. That's like well, a random well, guy. Ooh, ooh, this one, crack, which I think so. is going to be our next episode. Anal probes. Atlantis built the pyramids. Mmm. Uh huh. So I think I'm going to have to read up on Atlantis. In yeah, the lost city of Atlantis. <laughs> Yeah, they built the pyramids, and then they maybe inhabited Egypt, and then they went back to their secluded island, and then their island fell, and that's where all the technology went. Mm. Why the fuck did they build the pyramids then? Mm, power plant. False. Or maybe the pyramids weren't the best power plants, and no. that's why Atlantis maybe sank. It was the perfect place to build it because it's in the middle of the landmass, so they had to go to Egypt to build it there. So it could be like geographically pure. Exactly. Yeah. Or, or I mean, maybe even that, or maybe the way that, you know, because it's all built on like the resonation of the earth. That's mm -hmm. how the power plant works. Yeah. So maybe in that specific spot, the resonation of the earth is most prime. And what if they got it wrong? And that's why Atlantis is gone. Hmm. Anyway. But anyway, I think that kind of covers the pyramids of Giza. Try House Histories of Mysteries. All right. And man. we still know nothing about <laughs> <laughs> Sign yeah. out, you know, until uh, we talk about Atlantis. Yeah, yeah, the only thing we're sure of is aliens. Milo and that one girl with the blue on her face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, and the movie. I... You don't watch Disney movies, man? Dude, what, what? Was that Disney? There's oh my an Atlantis God. Disney movie. Yeah, dude, with like the, the crystals on their neck. Exactly. Then, yeah, so the next Egyptian podcast. Movie. We're not gonna talk about real Atlantis. We're gonna just dissect the movie. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Why wasn't this more successful? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess that's it. Yeah, thank you. All right. Thanks for listening, man. We love you. If you and th and this is your episode of Try House Tells. You listen all the way to the end. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> bless your soul. Mm. Mm. Or aliens bless you. Yes, or aliens. Which, whichever bless you. you think came first. Yeah. Uh.